on the house. I mean, that's the smart decision to make. But Evan, you can just say, just I, say, know, that's, just I let want, it out. I want our wedding to be the best wedding of all the ones that we've been to. Mm. We want to start a family soon. We need more space. If we buy a house, it could be years before we can afford the wedding we've always wanted. We could do both. No, we can't. That's where we come in. Okay, it is the latest Netflix original show that has everybody kind of talking about this. Marriage or Mortgage, the new series follows engaged couples who have to decide between spending that hard-earned savings account on either their dream home or their dream wedding. Hmm. It's a tough decision and, you know, one that couples make all the time. But thanks to a Nashville-based wedding planner and a real estate agent, couples get to think twice before making their final decision. And spoiler alert here, you ready for it? Some of the choices may actually surprise you. Joining us now are the hosts of Marriage or Mortgage, Sarah Miller and Nicole Holmes. Good morning. morning. Hey this is such a great show because I think everyone who is thinking about getting married, the thoughts go through their head. Is it worth spending all this money on a wedding for one day, a few hours, as opposed to a house or something much bigger and permanent? So talk to us about what it was like helping these couples go through this really important decision. It was amazing. I mean, it was such a fun filming process. Again, it's something that Nicole and I love to do, and it's our career. So. It was just another day in the office, but it, you know, every single couple had their own journey. So we just got to expand their budget and, you know, show them what dreams could come true out of each one. I don't think it's any shock to anyone that we had a great time filming this. We had <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, you can tell when you I watched an episode, you can tell that you really enjoyed it. But I, Nicole, I, mean, I am with you on being team house. Mm. Okay, so let's go through the argument here on why you're team house and then we'll get into team wedding. Because what's the ROI on a wedding? You don't make a return investment on releasing turtle doves or flower crowns, for goodness sake. Yeah. I mean, come on. One day, it's a party. Why not invest your money? And that's the way to spend it wisely. If you're going to get some money back on in the future, like a return on your investment, and you're going to on a, on a home and property, but a wedding, not so much. Sarah, you're nodding in agreement, but you disagree. Listen, at the same time, I'm more of a traditionalist, so I believe in marriage first and, you know, starting a good foundation uh, for your next journey. But, <laughs> I, I agree. That's where we're different. And we're, and, listen, we love hate each other. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the wedding is amazing, but I think if you it's talk true. to a lot of people, I mean, it's just it's a commitment. It's the next step in your life. And totally. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, I was going to say, but if you talk to a lot of people who have been married, they'll say, oh, gosh, if I could do it again, I would have invested the money. So I want to talk to you both about your own personal experiences where did you regret spending so much money on a wedding? Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> That's because mine ended. Both of them. And she's still married to the guy that she dated in high school, so how adorable for her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going on 11 years of marriage, and I was honestly given this um, opportunity when I was um, planning my wedding. We might you know, take the money and put it down on a house or actually spend it on the wedding, and we chose the wedding. And to this day, I still don't ever regret that at all, just because of the foundation that we took the next steps in life that were right for us. And um, the memories and everything that came out of it, it's just they're priceless. Yeah. Now, I remember I had a really fun party. Party. The marriage only lasted six years, and uh, there were trumpeters involved and harpists and opera singers singing the Lord's Prayer. I mean, it was grandiose and gorgeous. Yeah. Um, but you know, when I look back on it now, it's like learn from my mistakes. Do as I say, not as I did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and some people, some people might say, "Well, I already have a house," or you know. We you have enough money to do both, but you know, it, the, the whole idea is that you guys have to kind of make both realities a reality. So in the show. These couples have some really bizarre requests, right? So a ranch fountain, is that, I, I didn't know what that was, to a donut wall, a grand stair entrance. So how do you kind of make everything happen for both? And what is a ranch fountain? <laughs> Let's start with that, because I didn't really know what that was at all either. Again, we get these grandiose um, requests. And again, it's just our job to fulfill them because again, we are competing for you know, marriage or mortgage, we, I want to win. So this was something that the bride really wanted. And again, it's in her every single day life. Mm -hmm. So again, why not show it to her in a grandiose way? And she fell in love with it. Wait, it really well, what is. What is it? Is it like what ranch, is it? Dressing ranch dressing coming out of a fountain? Ranch What's it? Oh, that's what that is? Oh, come on. 
Oh, they froze. Imagine a chocolate fountain that used to be so popular back in the day. Okay, it's okay. just filled with ranch instead. So you have all the, um, you know, the food that you can go along with that. And she, from wings to carrots Pizza, to french fries. And how much does a ranch, how much does a ranch fountain cost? How much is that going to set them back? Not that much. What's not that much? Are we talking a mortgage payment? No, not even close. I, I want to know. I would hope not. Yeah, I, I mean, I wish I could shot. give you a price. It's just all different. Right. All right, <laughs> no, I gotta bring in the well, team because we, we've got we've got our team just yelling because uh, they all have <laughs> something to say about this. I had a ranch <laughs> fountain in my wedding. No, you didn't. I, I did. Know you I did. Not. No, I didn't. I, did. I know you did. I always say to people, I always say to people getting married, they're always like, yes, for advice. I say it doesn't matter. You could have your wedding in a shoebox mm -hmm. if you have the right people there, the right yeah. friends and family. It's gonna be the best wedding of all time. It's just about the people who are there. Absolutely. Yeah. But can they have the best of both worlds? Not on the show, just because, again, they came to us with the X amount of dollars that right. they had been saving up for one or the other. Um, so it was our you know, plan to try to do them in the right way and expand that budget, like I said, and make them realize like, what could become reality for yeah. all of them. Yeah. And I mean, they had to sign an agreement. They came into it. That I want everyone to realize, you know, you they were able to travel their minds. Somebody in your passwords. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you're you gotta put can you tell us your passwords? You gotta put in your password. There's testing. a fox cover in your faces right now. Yeah. It's What's probably, your password? Oh, I'll type wow. it in for you. It's probably marriage or mortgage. <laughs> ranch. It's ranch fountain. It's ranch fountain slash donut. Com. Mortgage <laughs> is the password. <laughs> oh, I don't know why it's doing that. That's okay. It's okay. Should we just dumb down? Use it. Yeah, use it. <laughs> it's improv. They said, you know, stop talking about ranch fountains. I do yeah. love a good Venetian hour, though. A good Venetian hour where uh, the wall the, comes it, out. It's, and it's, it's fantastic. I love we can it. see All right, now. ladies, this is so fun. Um, <laughs> hopefully, once, the, once you're not locked up, <laughs> we can talk to you again sometime. <laughs> hey, marriage and mortgage now. <laughs> Sorry, right at time. Live yeah. TV. Marriage and mortgage say. now available, streaming on Netflix. Great. I've watched one episode, and I'm it telling you, like I'm kind of like hooked in. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Oh I take gosh. mortgage, by the way. I think Me I too. Would too. Yeah. You know yeah. why? Because too. well, I've already done the wedding, and, and I would think that if you have the house of your dreams, if you can afford it, like take that money from the wedding, you could still have your marriage, your your wedding yeah. there, right? Yeah. right? That's right. I'm so with it's you.